mango smoothie taste test. Guys, I got these flowers yesterday for Valentine's Day. My coffee for the day is this coffee Co cafe mocha flavor. I got this in the Philippines and we brought it back to Canada. Pretty much like hot chocolate coffee. I'm currently making my lunch today that I'm gonna be bringing to school with me. I made a super simple lunch because I just wanted to make something quick and easy. I have some snacks, which I brought with me. So this is cookies and cream pulveron, which I got in the Philippines. And these are two little snack thingies called mochi manju. It's like a little cake with custard inside. And then I have a scrambled egg. And I have my rice. I'm just waiting for the corned beef that I am cooking. Basically, my uncle cooked this in the Philippines and it was really, really good. So I'm trying to cook it. I don't know if it'll taste the same. You guys, I got these flowers yesterday for Valentine's Day. They're just so cute. I'll have to like take it out of the little like cover plastic thingy and like actually put it into this vase later when I get home, but it's so cute. I have a dentist appointment today, so that's why I am rushing to get out of the door. So I have a dentist appointment this morning, which is why I'm super rushed to go out of the house. But yeah, we're gonna be heading there today. H Mart right now. They're literally paying 17.
Paris baguette and I got a hazelnut latte. So I wanted to try their hazelnut latte. I've tried the one from Costco, like the, the coffee bean and tea leaf one. So I wanted to try the Paris baguette one. And then I also got this little snack for me to eat. I got their mochi donut. I've never really had a mochi donut before, but it's this one. It's like the Lotus Biscoff flavor. sister some sushi because she wanted sushi to eat for lunch we're not really here for any particular reason but we're just kind of here to like kill time to be honest and see if we find something that we need so we're probably gonna end up walking out with something that we don't actually need but yeah <laughs> Somehow I wandered here. <gasps> These are so cute. I love this foundation, but like, why is it forty-one <laughs> Yo, they're literally trying to bait me right now. Hello Kitty Square cookies. Pokemon cookies. So when we went to H Mart, I got these two like Cacao Friends smoothies because they were so cute. This one's the peach smoothie. And then this one's the mango smoothie. It has like the characters on it, it's so cute. So I'm gonna try if it's actually good or not. I'm gonna try the mango smoothie because my sister wants the peach smoothie. Mango smoothie taste test. Dang, that's really good. I'm gonna open this one too. I'll try the peach one. I think I like the mango one more. I picked up a couple of things while we went shopping. So I just wanna show you really quickly what I got. First of all, I went to Walmart and they had a ton of the COSRX products. They didn't have as much as TNT, but they still had a decent collection. I'm almost out of the Snail Mucin Power Essence, which is this one. I also picked this up from TNT. It's a Japanese shampoo. I've been on the hunt for a new shampoo. I honestly saw the and honey shampoo there, which is this really popular like Japanese shampoo. I've seen it like all over Instagram, all over TikTok, but it was like $27. For me, I was like, that was a little too expensive for a shampoo. But anyways, I picked up this brand. It's also a Japanese shampoo. It's called Moist Diane. If you guys have any recommendations in terms of like Japanese, Korean, or just Overall, any really good Asian shampoos, please let me know. My goal is to find the Anne Honey one, but like find it cheaper because it was just so expensive at TNT. Yeah, I'm gonna try this one. Hopefully it's good. What the dog doing? 